Hey everyone. So the good news is we have crossed 82000 subscribers. Thank you everyone. Without wasting any time, let's start with the tutorial. So first of all, insert a rectangle shape, place it on the corner and slightly outside of the slide area and rotate it by 30 degrees. Make sure it is 30 degree rotation. and what we will do is we will trim the portion of the rectangle which is not on the slide area it is pretty simple just insert another rectangle shape place it over our rotated rectangle shape and use the merge shapes option and select subtract so this way you have a triangle with an angle of 30 degrees why it is 30 degrees we will tell you later in this video currently we will use it to create a beautiful infographics we have changed its color to green so that we can easily identify it now create a circular shape and make sure it is big and should be able to you know accommodate the rectangle that we have the triangle that we have created now we have duplicated the slide so that we have this backup slide now we will experiment and unleash our creativity on second slide now let's group these both shapes the circle and the 30 degree triangle well now the magic starts select the group shape and rotate it by 30 degrees now copy the triangle from slide 3 and paste it on slide 2 again group the shape and rotate by 30 degrees this rotate this complete grouped shape by 30 degrees again go to slide 3 copy the triangle paste it on slide 2 what you have to do you have to just press control v again select all group and rotate by 30 degrees so you have to repeat the steps until the complete circle is filled with triangles so again i have pasted the triangle grouped and rotate by 30 degrees and just keep on repeating the steps and you will have this complete full circle uh, where you have all the uh 30 degree triangles stacked together and i am adding the last triangle into the complete circular infographic so here we are done now we have this complete shape now the next step is to ungroup these shapes it is a time taking process you have to select all and keep on selecting ungroup until all the shapes are ungrouped so now i've ungrouped all the shapes we will trim the extra portion which is not on the slide area as you can see on the screen right now the white circle between the circular infographic is the slide area so what i have done is i have select all these uh, 30 degree triangles and increased their transparency so that slide area is visible now i have inserted rectangle shapes and trimming the extra parts which are not on the mentioned slide area i am working on the left side of the slide 
and showing you the example you have to do it on all the sides of the slide area place the rectangle shape select both the shapes and use merge options now we have all the shapes ready and we have to fill the gradient colors in all the triangles so you can experiment here use your own colors use one dark color one light color of the same shade or you can try two color gradient so i've used the combination of blue blue looks good here and trying a different angle now the next step is select alternate triangle here and we will give it much darker color so that it creates a nice effect here you can see now it is looking much better and it has more depth now and looking more creative so our shape is now complete so the next step is insert a circle in the center which will be used as a placeholder for the information like if you are using it for some kind of process some kind of circular list so you can enter the slide title in the circle with some icon so i'm doing the same thing here now i've inserted 12 icons because these are 12 triangles and i will place one icon in each on each triangle around the circle So I'll do it pretty fast here and I think it's not difficult while placing these icons just focus on alignment make sure every icon is aligned to each other I use office 365 and it has some nice options for alignment like if I place one icon it shows me guidelines and it really helps in aligning the icons so i've placed all the icons around circle you can try it in different ways you can place the icons at the corner of the slides as well on each triangle it's up to you now i've placed the center icon as well it is a headphone i guess yes so I've just placed some random icons here you can use as per the information you will put here. So let's insert another donut circle and send it to back behind the circle but first let's change its color so I am creating this design in real time and there is no such practice of thought before creating this video I am just creating it in while I am recording so you can understand it is quite difficult to speak create and think at the same time but I'm trying it and learning new things every day and it has become a practice now so now let's insert some information in each triangle at the points facts stats data anything you want again I'll place information in one of the triangle it's a dummy text 
and I'll paste it around in all the triangles as you can see on the screen right now so it is quite easy and you you just have to focus on the alignment part here as well otherwise the slide will not look as good i hope you like this video you should definitely give it a try and if you face any difficulties please let me know your thoughts in the comment section below also please do not forget to subscribe to our channel thank you very much have a nice day